So, in this video I want to talk about how I sharpen my knives. A um, couple things to keep in mind. I do not find joy in using a whetstone. Um, I don't really want to put that much time into it. I know there's people that enjoy it and that it's an art. And uh, I am aware of angles and uh, things and such, but uh, I uh, I really don't have a need to have a razor sharp knife. Um, and I've never had a problem with getting the knives to the sharpness that I uh, have them with uh, these two tools in particular. Um, so, anyway. Uh, I, I just feel like I'm just an average person that likes knives. And I am aware of the potential of a sharper knife using different systems. Uh, but I'm not ashamed to say that I also like the convenience. Uh, most of the knives I own use softer steels, which I have no problem using because with these, I uh, can touch them up really quick. It doesn't take me hours or that long at all. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what it is. Um, I'm still experimenting. Maybe one day I will get more into knife sharpening, uh, but for now, I'm good. Uh, I have used uh, the carbide tips in the past to sharpen butter knives. Uh, not razor sharp, but to the point where they do cut and cut relatively well. Uh, I wouldn't say they're hair popping sharp, but uh, definitely handles cardboard fine. So, uh, but I've had uh, this type of sharpener all different configurations. And uh, you can get them, like Walmart sells one for $1.46 that has carbide and ceramic. Uh, but it's, it's your standard square. Uh, I know there's a $6 work sharp one that has a diamond stone also embedded in it. Uh, but I didn't buy it because I still have this one. I did buy a cheaper ceramic one that was ceramic only and I loved it. It actually felt like it did a better job. But over time, the... The ceramic bars caved in. It was so cheap. I got it at a grocery store for a dollar, but it worked for when I had it. So this one, uh, which I did not see when I went to Orshelm, the Ruko, it's got emergency whistle, I guess. Um, but uh, uh, this one works good. Uh, I do have a uh, the, the knife, the sharpener that came in with uh, my Victorinox Tinker. I think it was a carbide one also. It's like a bar. But that's in a kit, so uh, I don't feel like digging that out. But this is my primary uh, sharpener. And uh, you can see the material that's on the ceramic. I should take a toothbrush to it one day and scrub it. But this ha hangs on my, my neck knife setup. So I just took it off for the video. And then, uh, so this is what I do 95% of the time. Uh, now, if I use my knife, like this one, I've batoned uh, firewood with it, even though you can only get so much, but I've batoned with it and uh, pried with it. Uh, not necessarily a tip test, but, you know, just, it does a great job doing all that stuff. And, uh, but I noticed that the tip was kind of blunted, so that's what made me buy this diamond, diamond, uh, it's not a stone, but you know, this diamond sharpener, uh, fine and coarse. I don't remember the numbers. Um, but, uh, so I've used this to touch up and it's done a good job of touching up the tip. Um, and also using it to slowly grind away some material from the handle. Uh, it takes a long time. I don't really want to invest in, uh, power tools or even files because this is not something that I do that often. Um, I, I've experimented with modifying older knives, Ozark trail knives, and 
to some level of success, but uh, yeah, I think that's behind me now. But and even this one, I don't care if I ever get there. It's just something I do when I'm bored. But uh, yeah, I don't uh, I don't strap my knives. I don't uh, I don't do anything but really this, um, and then this for when I do stuff with this knife that dulls the tip because I've found out how valuable a tip is. Um, I, in fact, uh, I don't. I passed up on the cleaver minimalist. Cleavers are nice, and I have some cleaver blades uh, in my quote collection. But uh, I really like the drop point. The drop point. Um, I don't know all the terms, um, but I do know. Like, I'm not a fan of the buoy or the you know tanto. I have some anyway. That being said, this is how I sharpen my knives, and I don't feel like if you're just a person that you're not heavily invested in knife, uh, don't not, not to be intimidated by knife sharpening. I mean, if you can get it to a point that you can accomplish the tasks that you need to do, in my case, opening packages, uh, cutting food, I mean, it's fine. You know, this works fine. Softer steel, uh, again, it's easier to sharpen. Um, I don't want to get a higher level steel and it's awesomely sharp and then after six months I have to sharpen it because it would take forever with this. Now the carbide might speed it up, but then you always risk taking too much material off. So, you know, that's just another advantage of having a budget buying budget knives um, anyway so that's just my uh, little thoughts on knife sharpening uh, though I do like watching uh, Cedric and Ada outdoor I think it's outdoor gear and knives or something but uh, I'm sure you know if you're into the knife scene who I'm talking about um, Pete is the guy that uh, makes the videos him and his wife sometimes, but anyway, uh, I love I love watching his uh, edge retention tests and his steel comparison tests. Um, but I think it's also easy to get caught up in the whole uh, mentality, the lifestyle, if you will. And I think if you just want to not spend too much money and you need a knife, I mean, you can't go wrong with just this. Um, this has never been an issue. I mean. Yeah. So anyway, there you go.